Shouts out Dave status. Um, I'm not gonna read your status though. What is up guys, Spine64 here. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Growl Era. You may be wondering, Spy, why are you in the arcade? Ah! Well, I'm gonna answer your question with uh, the title of this video. Today we're gonna be talking about why Growl Era is pay to play. And yes, it is sad. You may not wanna hear it, but yes, the free mobile game is pay to play like wh what like you know i looked back through my older videos and i remember looking at one of my old videos that i talked about whether or not growl is pay to play and my opinions have changed a little bit um i definitely think that this game is pay to play and uh there's nothing wrong with that i want to like get that clear like a lot of people think pay to play is a bad thing but for a free game I don't know what you expect like people have to make money like that's the point of a job so um as you can tell i've bought not not as much growlats as a lot of other people who play this game but you know 60 dollars i mean i think i spent more what is this the 10 dollar pack six times um i bought the one dollar pack of it says one time but i've definitely bought it more than once same thing with the 2.99 pack i've i've definitely bought it but i don't think it said i purchased it, it might have been on a different account or something but let's say, uh, with just the purchases that this thing shows, I've spent about maybe $70, because the character slot, plus guild house, plus... Yeah, so about $70, I think, that it's uh, reporting as of on this account. $70. I have a feeling I spent around 100 total. Why does air conditioning turn on every single time? It literally just turned on. I started recording for two minutes and the air conditioning is like, oh, you know, Spy's back at it again. Let me fuck up the recording. Oh, it's so annoying. But I mean, you know, that's first world problems. I'm complaining about having cold air in hot summer. I mean, it's not summer yet, but it's hot outside. So I shouldn't be complaining. But you know, it's just annoying. Things like that. It's just, ugh. It's like, I don't even know if the air conditioner is like on a schedule or if it's just like it senses the heat. I think the thermostat is like if it goes below or above a certain temperature, the air conditioning just immediately cuts on. And it just so happens whenever I record is when the air conditioner turns on. Maybe it's because it the house is like, oh shit, spies talking again. His hot ass breath, he's not brushing his teeth. You hear spy, he finally fucking talks. <sighs> Oh, oh, turn on the air conditioning, hot breath made the whole fucking house melt. So, uh, jokes aside, back to the whole point of the video of being pay to win. A lot of people are saying, oh, pay to win is bad. It's not. It's like when you buy a game, pay to win is bad because you're buying a game, a $60 game, a real video game, whether you like to believe it or not. I know a lot of people who play Growl Era are maybe not casual gamers but don't have an xbox or a pc like a gaming pc or a ps4 because video games cost 60 dollars most games are 60 maybe you'll get like an indie game that's maybe 40 dollars or 20 and for the price you pay is for about the content you get there's very rare games that are priced at 20 dollars where you get a 60 dollar game worth out of it cuphead being an example maybe Mega Man. Um, you pay about $20, you get a lot of hours out of it. Like, when I buy a game, I like to constitute it by saying, if it's a $60 game, I want to get at least one hour of time out of every dollar I spend on a game. So, because, like, if you, if you go to the carnival or, like, the amusement park or something, it's, like, $50 for a ticket, and you're only at an amusement park for maybe four or five hours, maybe the whole day, depends who you go with. Some people just like to be outside and sweat all day and walk. Fuck that shit. I get blisters on my feet. That shit hurts. I want water. I want food. So it's like, okay, even comparing it to food, a, a meal, a normal meal is about $10. You can go to the grocery store, buy ingredients to make food and blah, blah, blah. That's cheaper than actually buying real food, but that's the convenience factor of it you're having someone else make you food in one one hundredth of the time it would take for you to cook a meal yourself which is why you pay ten dollars for a meal some people are like oh that's ridiculous well i'll cook my own food and you save money you get more ingredients but it takes longer to make that's the same thing with video games when you buy a sixty dollar game you expect 
uh, I would say I would hope for around 60 hours of fun or gameplay with it. I want some fulfillment out of it. Like, I feel ripped off when I buy an Xbox game or a PS4 game for $60 and I beat the game in eight hours. Like, that's a waste. There's nothing else to do. I beat it. Yes, you can 100% the game and get get every unlockable, but that's boring. That's grindy. You don't want it. That becomes a chore. I didn't pay $60 to do chores. I paid $60 to have fun and detach myself from reality and avoid doing real chores. So, what, what, what am I getting at with this? $60, right? Can get me about, let's say, Mario Party or Super Smash Bros, for example. That's a very good use of $60, in my opinion. And I have no uh, problem buying DLC. And that's the thing people have problems with buying DLC. If Does it constitute the money I'm paying? So, for Smash Brothers, I'm almost at 1,000 hours in that game, and I paid $60 for it. That's like a normal game. Uh, most video games, I get maybe about 40, 50 hours if it's good. Maybe 80 hours out of it. Like Final Fantasy 15, that, that was about 100 hours. And that's pushing it for a game because I really like it, and I wanted to explore it, play more. Dragon Quest, almost 100 hours, you know, games like that. Pokemon, 100 hours. Most games around 60. So what am I saying? Growl Era is a free to gay, uh, not free to gay, a free to play game. And it was free. Uh, I mean, duh, it's free. I don't know why I repeated it. But this game used to be, I think, $3, $3.99. And you got perks that separated you from the regular free growl era there was growl era growl era plus uh, i think back when i got this game i got growl era plus i'm pretty sure i bought it it might have been 2.99 I, I forget how much but you had to buy the game it was cheap for a mobile game it's not a big deal so when you buy that you don't get everything unlocked you don't get ec you don't get money to your account but you do get perks and benefits for that i mean now growl era plus is free it's been out so long no one plays the regular growl era and if you do that's stupid. The premium version is for free. But I remember when Old West Plus came out, there was still $3. Every Growl server that comes out to iOS is $3, however much it is. And you have to buy it if you want the premium benefits. You can play the free one, but you get perks for paying $3. And when people say pay to play, I, they assume that it's, it's bad because... Like most games, you have to pay to play the game. So more like pay to win is what people are. I see people complaining about more often than not because pay to win and pay to play are very different meanings. Pay to play is like an arcade game. You pay money like back in the day, you know, you pay a quarter, a dollar to play a game. If you lose your health, you lose the game and you have to pay more money to keep playing the game. I feel like this is what like free to play games are the equivalent of now because you get access entryway into a game but you're sort of capped I mean yes you can grind out stuff a lot of purists I would say quote unquote are like oh I'm not giving Grell era a single dollar of my money I'm gonna play fair and square I'm gonna grind the grouts I'm gonna shovel every day to make 2,000 shells, I'm gonna sell the shells, trade it, get all the stuff, and uh, you see, I got a, a lightsaber, I got a bar, I got a minigun without spending a single dollar of growl, and it's like, congrats to you, but you also wasted a lot of your time. When you check how long it took, it took like 470 hours to do chores to get a gun you're gonna use for less time than you did, than it took to make the money for the gun. And then it's like, oh, I want a new gun that came out for also 200k. Oh, gotta just rinse and repeat. You're you're wasting time doing chores. And I'm not saying, oh, just break out the credit card and start buying everything. Give the game money. Oh, wow. I don't think you should give games money unless they earn it. And that's uh, something everyone has to decide themselves. It's not my place to say this game sucks because it doesn't. It's a very good business strategy. It's just not marketed well. And I think that's why... I shit on the game so much and why the player base doesn't really grow. It's always consistently at 2,000 players and the shit lags. Like, come on, we're doing events right now. Look how laggy this is. I'm typing. No one can load in. This shit is awful. It's like 
you get a lot of money. I know how much money Growl gets. I don't know specific numbers anymore. But, you know, back in the day, I had some connects with uh, the higher ups of Growl. And this game makes a lot. I mean, you have to be stupid to not realize this game doesn't make a lot. So to bring this video back on topic, the short answer is yes. The game is pay to win. It's pay to play, whatever you want to call it. But that's in the eyes of who of the player. Like, if you don't have money to spend or you don't want to spend money, don't spend money. It's going to take longer. It just depends what's more valuable to you, your time or your money. Like, for people with money, th this is like the real world. Like, in, in like real economy. If you have money to spend, yes, life is easier for people with money than it is than poor people. I'm not blaming poor people for being poor, but if you have money to spend, money is meant for convenience. It's to make your life easier. So, if you don't have money, yes, you can still enjoy the game just fine. But, you will pay with your time instead. A free-to-play game like this is grindy, so you pay with your time. And so you realize, oh, yes, maybe I do want to spend a dollar to get some Gralats to save me, let's say, what I could use 10 hours to get uh, 10,000 Gralats. I could spend $10 and make that easy in 30 seconds. So it just depends on what you personally think is worth more to you. So, I'm repeating myself. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a like if you didn't already. Subscribe. I can tell who subscribes. Like, you know, YouTube analytics. It shows you who watches the video and who's a subscriber and who isn't. So I know there's a lot of people who aren't subscribed. It's not that hard to do. It's free. I really appreciate it and it means a lot more than you think. Thank you so much for watching. I'll do a little dance for you all to celebrate you joining the channel. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if the word about the hand, at least I got me a Bentley truck. A thousand dollar bitches in my penthouse just wasn't enough. I need a peach and daisy, someone sweet I can munch on you. Girl, give me all that peaches, man. You know I just want that.